Okay, thank you everyone and thank you Nis uh, intro me and uh, today, uh, okay, first of all, I would like to intro myself. Uh, my name is Meng Yang. So, um, actually, I'm quite go through along with uh, SMART uh, for 11 years uh, in a SMART and also uh, go through with uh, a lot of years of the implementations and uh, also the sales implementations. Okay, and today I will share to you about the regarding on the topics of uh, this industry on the hardware. So, let's share my screen. Okay, so before we start share, is it uh, everybody, you take, it, take your breakfast ready? If you take your breakfast, you just give me the chat box. Okay, we have a both way communications. So at least I can uh, hear your sound. Okay, so you let me know. Okay, but uh, if you got any questions that you can, uh, want to ask me, they, uh, let's wait until the Q&A session, you can ask me so I can maybe can advise you on the, give you some solutions. Okay, on your operations. All right. So let's start about our topics. Okay, so today we're talking about the hardware retails growth strategies. Okay, so and we will today we cover the topic will be the hardware business. Second will uh, challenge facing strategy, uh, third strategy, fourth opportunity, fifth action plan. Okay, we go through elaborate one by one today. Okay, we're talking about the hardware business. Usually what I know about this hardware business, right, will be uh, divided by two uh, portions, okay? One is selling di directly to the retail customers, okay? This is what I know, okay? And the second one, we're talking about the trading or wholesaler to constructor, home improvement or improvement worker or et cetera. There's a lot of the project involved of the project. Am I right? I do believe that if you uh, meet up with our your clients or your operations, right? I think you may, uh, in a, this hardware business, right? You may do these two types of the business one, definitely, okay? And uh, the last, we talking about the challenge facing, okay? So everybody, you can see, you open up hardware shop, I also open up hardware shop. Then how, you say Ming Yang, I quite under pressures, okay? What's the challenge facing, okay? We elaborate one by one. Okay, what's the challenge facing usually by hardware? Okay, we talk of uh, talking about the stock item SKU. Okay, as you can see here in my screen, I shared it to you, right? You see a lot of the spanner, the screw, the measurements, a lot of the sizes. Can you imagine that that in your business operations, is it you can remember so much of the stock item? Some of it say yes, some of it say no. Okay, I can tell you if that people one day system down, it's a human system down. Huh? Is it the system still can go on? Okay, I can tell you, there's only one person know about this, all this knowledge, okay? However, if you're using the system, it's quite totally different, okay? So the first thing, the challenge will be too many stock items, SKU, I want to share with you. So as you can see on the screen in the hardware shop, okay, definitely as we, and our experience, from experience is, Usually, the basically with more than 10,000 SKU. So this is why quite critical about the hardware shops, okay, to remember the stock item SKU, okay? And you have a very hated about that, okay? I do believe that if you're in uh, this industry. Okay, secondly, too many customized order, especially we're talking about the projects and uh, especially the special requests from your clients, okay? I think they may have it to call you to customize the size, the different size, the different lengths and different diameters, height, width, type, and the brand. And as a lot, a lot of the requests. Okay, as you can see here, how do we to remember a lot of customizations order? Okay, so this is one of the facing challenge in your uh, hardware operations. So it's so too many customized order. Okay, I think you may in a traditional way, you may write it in the books. So you may have uh, this a lot of uh, measurements. So you write it in the books. So if the book locks ready, then how? Want to look? We need to we need to drop it again, okay? And the third, too many selling price. Okay, this is also one of challenge facing that different customer group different price. Okay. So I can share with you a lot. I was uh, go through with the hardware shop, right? They they using. Usually the boss uh, remember your face only. Okay, Ming Yang coming in is another price. Okay, Eunice coming in is another price. Or Chin, you coming in is another price. 
Okay, so the boss is using the face. So if the boss, as I said just now, the boss system down already, okay, who still can remember giving what price? Nobody already. I can tell you it's nobody. Okay, whatever the pricing you already in formulated in your brain. Okay, so also this is one of the fat challenge issue to many selling price for the different customers. Okay, and also we can see that a lot of the competitive. Okay, we can see the large chains and smaller chain hardware store in every neighborhood. Okay, as you can see, especially the one new in the one new area, right? Definitely, definitely they needed the hardware. Okay, you can see right now the as you can see your competitive, very big competitive is uh, Mr. DIY, right? Ah, uh, so it's very large, right? So everybody, you think about that, so you will feel very under very pressure about that. They say, Ninya, how I want to do about that? They say already fight very low price already. Then how? Okay. So you may think about it, but now mind, today we're giving some solutions. Okay. For your uh, hardware operations. Okay. What's the strategy? Okay. Let's share with you. But before we're talking about the strategy, definitely we need to have a system, right? Okay. To have a proper system and operation, proper stock and operation management. Okay. Today, I will share with you what the system can help in on your site. Okay. We're talking about the supplier SKU, especially supplier SKU. When you have a, a lot of the supplier provide you the same product, same item, then how you need to remember that? What's the item SKU about that? If the supplier mentioned the plumber, they're not called plumber, they're called BVC, whatever the name then in your system you just you just only know the plumber okay at the end you may look it around again and you need to rethink very long long time and oh this is that the item that provide from supplier a and supplier b also and you also did not know what's the pricing okay they're giving to you if you don't use the system okay so in our system in supplier sku at least we can cater What's the supplier SKU, number one? Number two, what's the pricing they provide to you? So this is the one that you can consider, okay, about purchasing from your supplier, the priority, which supplier can give the best price and best service to you. So in our system, can we do about that, the supplier SKU, okay? Second, we're talking about the multi-barcode label. Okay, we buckle label. Okay, and uh, we got the multi barcode assignment. Especially, we are talking about the size. Uh, we are talking about the barcode manufacturing barcode, right? Especially the manufacturing barcode. They, if they change ready, I do believe that you need to make it inactive and you need to recreate again on your stock item barcode. So in your operation is very tedious and very very hard to handle about it. And your stock balance, you also need to move in and move out if you got the old stock and new stock. So you need to create a lot, lot of the stock item barcode. But in the system, we can help you handle about it, this issue. If your manufacturing barcode, your old barcode still can using it, and your new barcode, you just add on in our system. You can see at my right bottom, okay, you can add a lot, a lot of the barcode there, then you can sell it to your clients. So you're very easier, comprehensive to handle about it, this issue, okay? So this is the one that I want to share it to you about the multi-barcode. And also I want to share with you, especially the well, with multi-measurements, okay? So sometimes you buy a very huge of the, you buy, uh, you, if you could chase back or one box of the screw, right? So you need to repack again. So what you will do? So we usually in our system, we can handle about this, like the amount, uh, we call it unit of measurements, okay? So this unit of measurements, when you purchase one box coming back and you repack again to one pack, one pack like that, right? So how to stop deduct? So the deduction from the formulation that you set in our system, uh, unit of measures. So this is the one that, why you needed the system to cater all your operations in uh, accuracy of the inventory. So this is the one that, uh, that you can create in our system and also you can you can provide okay your stocks to your clients if your customers uh their special requests okay 
So there are different customer and different needs. Okay, so this is I want to share with you in our system here. The system can helping on the bay bucket paper multi bucket assignment and also multi unit of measure. Okay, and also if you are selling the package, I want to share with you. Especially you bundle the whole package out. Okay, so in our system we call bill of materials or short form we call BOM bomb. Okay, also can helping on your operations hardware business. All right, so whatever the stocks you will be selling out, the whole package will deduct all up the materials. All right, so this is the uh, second one, the barcode label. And the third, we're talking about the stock order alert and advice. I can see, I can see I go through along with my customer, I can share with you. Usually, they need to go with people eyes to go and see on the stock, physical stock. But imagine that you got the huge, uh, not the huge, very big warehouse. Is it you still need to how many people go and look about it, the whole thing? Definitely, you need to have a one proper system to help you to observe, to replace. Sometimes I can tell you, people too eyes wide, you may have a human error. Uh, maybe you see one of the item, you may see eight. Some, how come got two? Okay. So in our system, you can put it in whatever your control of the stock item, at least when you sell that time, okay, in the system. System when reach the minimum quantity, automatically you can have a reporting or you want to uh, mention to system to auto help you to create the purchase order to your respectively supplier. Okay, your supplier uh, provide the stock to you. So you can using the two ways solutions to monitor on your stock ordering. So this is the one that I want to tell to yours that this stock order alert and advice is very quite important for every businessman and also the hardware shop business. Okay, because you if you order a lot of the stock, right? So you, move, you may, may put it in a warehouse. You say sometimes uh, you buy a lot already, then the balance one is not so hot, hotter selling item. Uh, sometimes it's a customized. So, from here, you've got the system, it at least can help you to monitor all those, the reorder, the alert, and the advice at here. So the our system, it can be done, okay? So this is the one that for the quantity uh, on hand. At least you can know you can have an arrangement proper, so properly the arrangement of your inventory, right? So this is the one that I want to show it to you in our screenshot. So this is the one I want to show it to you. So. Let's move on to the, the next. Okay, we're talking about the next one. Also, the headed parts is uh, about the stock take, especially the hardware. Okay, what does system can help in on the stock take part? Okay, if you're going to the really the warehouse, right, especially the hardware, okay, you've got the shelf rack and you, you may see it a deck by deck, like that, level by level. Okay, how imagine that you go and doing the stock take one by one? You need to have a human manpower, uh, hire a lot of manpower to go into a stock take, or you need to have a mobile system to help you to do the stock take. Why we need it, the mobile, the stock take? Okay, number one, I can share with you. If you're using the mobile stock take, at least the human error, we can, we can minimize 0%, I can tell you. It's a 0%. Secondly, Whatever the create items you see inside the front of the people, right? So I uh, mean, so the, the physical item you in your in your eyes there, you just go and scan. Impossible, you in, impossible you go and scan it simply the whatever the item, right? So inside the system, okay. So I can tell you this is one of it the benefits why you need to using the stock tape, okay? And also beside that. In the system, also you can have a manage uh, properly, especially in our system we call location shelf control. Okay, uh, especially you can see that when you're doing the stock take, right? Uh, I can see that they are very well organized in their operations, shelf rack by rack, or oh, they have a screw, so in a shelf screw, uh, shelf rack like that. Okay, at least you know this stock is located at where. When you're searching that time, okay, it's very easier for you. Okay, easier for the life and easier for your staff also. Okay, easier for everybody. Okay, so this is one of the benefits they can use it for the location shelf control. 
okay, in the operations. Okay, this is the one proved that in our system can have a location shelf chart. Okay. And, and, um, and the next one I want to share with you in the price checker integrations. Okay, here I go on to share with you these two things. Okay, one thing I want to share with you for the price checker, especially as you can see in the DIY, in the uh, very big chain store, why they deploy about this price checker. You Can you imagine that this price checker replay, represent your stuff? Okay, if your clients, they did not know the price, is it? You don't have this price checker, this price checker, right? They need to definitely ask cashier. Hey, this one, how much? That one, how much? Okay. If your cashier is very busy, okay, and you add a lot of customers, so is it you got time to entertain those customers to come you to ask the questions? Answer, I think it's not. Okay. So what I want to tell you, the price checker benefit is, is represented on your staff cashier. At least you can minimize the asking. The clients can have their own way to check it, convenience to the clients, okay? To check it, the pricing, okay? In the in your convenience store on your hardware shops, okay? This is the one that can helping on your patient smoothen uh, and very fast to get it, the customer client needs, okay? And also you can represent it, what's the balance quantity can represent it, uh, how many quantities inside, still got it, okay? And also beside in my right-hand side, I want to share with you, Inside our system, you see a lot of a measurement about dimensions. Is it the smart? Uh, is it the whole system can cater about it? Especially they need to this one to need to cut it. Okay, you buy a long, very long, long pipe, ten meters. Then you need to cut one by one. So you cut ready. After that, you sell like this. So inside the system, also you can preset it. Okay, inside the system, at least you can click it inside when the clients coming in. You sell. Uh, example, 3 meters, 1 meters, or 5 meters like that. So you can study it like this uh, dimension as you set inside the system and easier for your operation and your clients. Immediately, they can get through and make the payment and directly they can go, they can go off. Okay. So this is the one that convenience and we say about smoothen on your operations of, about implementations. All right. So about the price checker and fast menu, same product but different sizes. So this all can be done in the system. All right. And the next one, we're talking about the account management, especially we're talking about the account management, right? So I don't talk, don't touch very so much. Okay. Usually the system, right, is very uh, common. And um, usually I want to highlight two things to you. It will be all the transaction, whatever you do inside the post system, it will be automatically synchronized back to the backend system. All right. There's no manual entry. There's an accurate increase and error minimized. Okay. Whatever, whatever you're doing inside the post system is very straightforward and convenience to your cashier staff. Okay. Or, and your clients also. So all is automated. Okay. There's no hazard. Okay. There's no tedious or operations. Okay, in your in your, happen in your operations. All right. So this is I want to share with you in our account management. All right. And we're talking about the physical stock as physical store already. What the things will be moving on to the next. Okay. I want to share with you today multi-channel O2O, or we call the web store or marketplace. As we can see, okay, right now, is it online? Is the one of our opportunity sales channel? For my answer, I can tell you right now is yes. Okay, I can give you some example. You've got a physical store already. What the things you can be done, okay? What you want to let the customer know about your shop name. Ah, this one, an opportunity. We're talking about the opportunity about the business. So the O2O, not only that you have a physical store, but the people surrounding of the neighborhood know about your name. But out of the neighborhood, they did not know about your shop already. Okay. One of the opportunity to let the nationwide or the worldwide people to know about you. So one of the way is you need to go to the O2O or you have a marketplace web store. I do believe that right now, all of, uh, especially the pandemic time, Shopee and Lazada is the hottest selling item. I can tell you. 
Okay, and I also later I can prove it to you. Some of my clients they using it uh, in the Shopee and Lazada. Okay, so in this situation, I want to share with you is our system can be synchronized. Why we so call O to O is which means offline to online or online to offline. Okay, so in these situations, we can synchronize both way. Okay, so whatever you working, uh, you starting in the online. Is starting in offline, okay. No matter which whichever which part comes first, we also can handle in our system, okay. And also the I can tell you if you want to go for further, you can have your own website. Also, no problem. We can have the integrations to your website, okay. If you got the website, okay, you want to link to our system. You're using currently out to our system, right? So don't worry. We got the solutions to you that we can synchronize your stock quantity. Uh, I do believe that a lot of people, they were headed about the stock quantity, your stock, I, stock information. This is the one that every merchant and every boss, they were headed about this thing. So in our system can cater about this, okay? And you will be have for auto synchronizations, okay? This is I want to tell you, okay, about the sales maximization part one. Part two, after you got it the, about the online and offline, model ready then what the things that you can go for about the your business model you can do it you can looking for about your franchise you can looking for the partner or the subsidiary model okay why i can tell you like this you can see a lot of the franchise of the model right especially you you do it in the, your one place only example you do it in the kl example you want to expand it until uh, like seremban okay or in jb so is it the people know about you? Hey, how is it the service? Huh? Is it very good or no good like that? So you can think another way about the business opportunity. You can gather, you can have a partnership with your uh, partner to form up another so-called company. At least you can bring up your name to other state, to other place, at least to make it the famous. At least you know about your branding, okay? In everywhere, okay? So this is one of the opportunity I want to share with you. One of the franchise also can make it the business opportunity. Okay, for like these situations, right? In our system, is it can be handled also? The answer also yes. Okay, we also can have a very simple, okay, very comprehensive for your operations to handle the between subsidiary and primary uh, company. Okay. So the next one, what does the, <clears throat> after you done it, the online and offline, offline, online, after that, you got the franchise with it, what the things can be done, okay, in your operations, okay? I want to share with you, if your clients coming in, is it you, they remember you one time already after they go off, only you make with them business one time only, or you want it, you need to think, is it I need to call them to come back to uh, spend with me again? in your business okay so at here i want to share with you we got the one solution to you okay member get member model okay example you see one of the family members okay that's a, a little bit simple calculations okay okay example the one family spend 500 okay you got the loyalty okay we're talking about one percent okay rewards okay they got five ringgit and they intro to their friends and family okay also same thing recurring 500 can you imagine that one day if you got a referral awards how much you can get it 500 multiplied with 0 0.5 percent you can get 250 okay and you can see if you refer to the 10 friends and family members 10 people are uh, not 10 here uh. 10 people okay imagine that you can earn how much usually you go and buy it one things right usually you just pay to the debt merchant only but you cannot think back how the clients earn back the money uh, this is why you can attract the customer clients and come back to buy from you again so this is one of the way opportunity right that you can you can be done uh, i can say you can be done in your operations, 
okay this is the one the simple calculations about the member get member module okay i do believe that in uh, every business and especially in a hardware shop right especially you want to know about people know about your branding your service is very good or you're talking about the mouth only okay and if the price not suitable for you then you go for the next one but if you think another way around if this situation you refer your friend refer to their friend and family you can see that this is a simple calculation and this is how they make the money now a day okay so this is the one that i want to share with you uh, the member get member model and the next one after you done it member get member model already what the things system can be done am i right so we can do the promotion plan member get member uh, member group plan buy and free mix and match add on plan range discount cash rebate and purchase purchase okay why i want to bring out the promotions okay you can see a opportunity of the promotions are uh, actually there's a lot of things can you we can resolve especially about your stock okay why you need to do the promotions as you can see a lot of the people especially right now you can see by end of year okay no matter you go to where or you go to uh, anywhere right in the go to the shopping shopping center right you can see a lot of the pricing you say oh very cheap but today i need to buy okay so you see that this is one of the opportunity that you can break into the consumer's heart that he or she want to buy from you so one of the opportunity i want to share is this promotion very quite important for the consumer okay so this is the one secondly we can push at this moment you buy you do whatever this uh promotion right is another purpose is clearance stock okay as i mentioned by end of the year especially people want to buy about it is a clearance stock okay about the current stock at least you can take back the money it's not stacking on your i mean the stock is not stacking on your money lah. you can have a cash flow to buy another new stock to come in in your operations so i think this is the one that the boss is uh they want to they, they want to think about a way to to think where i can get the money cash flow to buy another new stock to come in to sell to my clients so this is the one that why you need to do the promotions and also the promotion i can tell you even though okay if you use it without using the this discount promotion price right as i mentioned just now the facing the challenge facing right if the people that human brain one day down they did not know about the pricing okay i can tell you the item it can't set it out and the customer go off okay i can tell you so this is why you need the system very proper system to handle all this uh, about the sales maximizations okay about the promotion activities okay the next one we're talking about the member management after you're doing all the sales really you say many i do very well in your promotions and i give a very good price and very good service really but after that is your clients coming back and coming buy from you again okay some of it say yes some of it say no okay why because you only do it doing the neighborhood but did you think back if your clients if your competitive open up like as i mentioned diy they open up behind your store they blast it you can see that diy is open up everywhere nationwide how you want to fight is it in the fight the pricing at the end you fight the pricing you say i cannot earn the money am i right okay so i want to share with you another one opportunity the member recruitments okay so member recruitments one of the way can attract the customer come back and buy from you again about this why I want to say, share with you about these things. A lot of the people, right, they didn't do about this loyalty program on their hardware business, okay? But I can tell you, now today people, they, the consumer, the, the spending of the behavior, right? Whatever I buy from you, right? I need to definitely give you some rebate, okay? This is, a, I think every consumer, we're having this thinking, okay? So, you can do it about this way okay you can sign up uh, this uh, member recruitments okay you can share to your clients you say 
it's a free for life and you can do in the double point when you're doing the birthday months you see that at least i'm join i'm joining your as your member i can entitle for the benefits about for my clients okay for your customers okay and also we can provide the cash voucher redemptions okay you can give them them you make them happy at least they need to at least they coming back and buying from you again they say they not go for further shop if they got the cash voucher you give them five ringgit definitely i can tell you they come back uh, okay this is i can prove it to you okay they definitely they will give coming back one i can tell you one of the story if you if you see the mr dollar right recently they have distribute the physical cash voucher to their clients so i can tell you everybody take this cash voucher right and go and spend it imagine that if you can do this way why not on your operations in the digitalized some more they're using the hard copy we using is the digitalized easier for our clients easier for your operations no need to print all right and second we are the next one i want to share with you welcome points okay these 200 welcome points what they can be done okay these 200 points you can convert it to the credits okay i can tell you you can set it one ringgit one point when you got the 700 you can see that the 750 points i get five ringgits so i i can't imagine that the clients if they got credit in their wallet right i don't believe that they can't, don't come back to buy from you especially they're moving out from their area i i can tell you like this okay or else or your service is not good enough okay uh, so this is the one that you can make them at least you make them your clients to coming back to purchase or they not go for other shop to purchase they need to this is this is their your loyalty clients uh, and also you also can giving that the exclusive promotion and discount okay from here you can do whatever the things that you can do the promotions and also track the purchases okay for your clients especially your clients what they need to care about that you usually i can tell you last night i was uh taking the dinner okay in the secret recipe what you know what they do okay they do in their business operation they make their customer happy they need at least they know uh your clients what they need okay what's the favorite item what they purchase at least as a consultant as a sales consultant right when the customer walk in hey how come you know i'm what's my favorite how come you know what i'm purchased before so customer is very happy they say oh you know about buying this thing uh, you care about me okay so you think uh, about this way the human being if you keep this relationship with your clients i do believe that your business will keep going they definitely they're coming back and buy from you again this is what i can tell you okay we're talking about the member management in the summarize what you can be done okay we got four models can be support to you one is point second is prepaid third is digital stamp fourth is the e-voucher so this is the in our member engagement can be done in the membership and also as i said just now e-voucher you no need to print out you just print it whatever the the criteria that terms and condition that you set inside the system automatically your clients will receive it automatically okay and this voucher if you want to transfer to other uh, to your friends and family right is it can or cannot also can be done okay don't worry okay not stated in the one people hands only okay voucher e-voucher also can be transferable okay and also as i mentioned point reward also can be done all right and also push the notifications also can be done why we say about push notification especially just now if you open up in the new shop in a new area or you got any promotions right how you want to deliver the message before your clients okay reach your shop or they can know about your from time to time about the situations is it you got do any promotions at least from the clients they can know okay from time to time what what are you doing what's your promotion what is your strategy okay so from push notifications at least you can know about this uh, to your clients you can deliver the, those message to your clients all right and also birthday rewards okay this birthday reward i think everybody also really like it 
as you are the no matter you are the boss you are the staff you are the you are the merchant i think everybody also like it okay but why i want to share about this thing the, about the birthday and those the membership the management is very quite important about uh, for me i think it's very quite important for every single business about the this loyalty program and you got this the loyalty program at least you can know you can do the analysis right at the end your clients will be coming back to coming back and buy from you and stay with you at least they're not leaving you okay they say okay one time go off bye bye like that okay they will coming back and give you back the business to one okay this is i can tell you okay after you see all the sharing i share to you already right what does the things that can be done okay you're doing the loyalty you say Ming, i already do the uh, my website ready then uh, i doing the loyalty ready and then i do my physical i do the franchise ready then what's the next step i can be do what's the opportunity i can do uh is anybody know about it up beyond the net you got the all to all you got the loyalty ready then you got physical stock ready you got franchise model ready then what's the thing next can be do is there anybody can answer here before we going in if you if you know you just give me type in the chat box there you let me know what you know about that okay ah uh, all people <laughs> don't know ah uh. okay now my i will share with to you the what's the opportunities okay about the grain to create more sales okay on your business operations okay especially we're talking about the offline and online sales and also the recurring okay can't imagine that okay i share with you okay in the system we also can have a smart o2o equal retail what the things why i want to share with you about this this thing really a lot of the people they can't still until do this level they can't do it like self pick up uh, i think this self pick up um, self collect i think a uh, very few of the in the malaysia i can tell you in the malaysia is quite popular is starting it really about this service you can let your clients not walk out from their house okay at least you can have a opportunities to get, take down their business at least when the clients they pay the money already right they go just go to your nearest of the shop and collect their items so this is one of the opportunities that you can be think in your operations about self pickup uh, especially talking about pandemic right so this is one of it the self-collect can be done in the operations okay secondly we're talking about the delivery uh, your clients are uh, very scared they say uh, right now the COVID case uh, everywhere so I I lazy to going out I need, after I going out I need to come back and buff okay so what you can be done you can do the delivery you can delivery the parcel, the items ship to your client's house in their front of the house. Okay, which means you don't need to call your clients to go there and buy from you in your physical shop. At least they can from the web or apps there, they can download the orders and make the payment. As I mentioned just now, you also can deliver those the services, provide the services to them. Okay. And at the end, I want to share with you the loyalty. So the loyalty also can be done in the grid. No matter your clients sell it in on are uh, buying in online or offline. So this is the one, the member points, especially the member points cannot uh it can be integrated. Okay, it's integrated. So those the marketplace, whatever you're doing, the promotions, on brand apps, on brand web store, no matter your storefront, all is our smart here is already is already integrated i can tell you here okay you need to think about it if you're doing about these services that services really you need to think about it uh, is this smart can be done or not i can tell you all in our in our smart o2o ecosystem we already done here so we're just waiting on your side when your business is expanding until this level uh, just to tell yours this message so just uh, waiting from your side your your business expand until this level so you can think about it all right so we're talking about so much of the 
strategies and all the opportunities, then what's the action plan need to be done? Okay, so as we can see, we're talking back, especially the step one, okay, the action plans. Number one, we're talking about the inventory centralizations, especially we're talking about the, especially the, about the business, right? Okay, I will advise my clients, okay? Step one, you need to do what? Step two, you need to do what? Step three, you can do what? Okay, so we're talking about step here. Number one, we're talking about inventory centralizations. Okay, so you need to control very well on your inventory centralization. So at least you can manage if you've got a warehouse, you've got the multiple outlets, right? So you can manage very well in one system, right? Control manage well in the centralization. Secondly, you can manage your stock and promotions. So the stock and promotions very quite important. So your stock, you control about it already, at least uh, all sharing in a one code. So you're not say uh, using one code, another outlets using another one code. So you're very quite tedious and also quite messy about your stock. And also the promotions, you set one shop, all the nationwide, all the outlets, okay? You're sharing one promotions. Uh, so you control very well on this and also, you manage P and L for the multi multi stores. So at the end, you can you can get your profit and loss in your in your multi stores. At least you can control very well uh, in your hand in the step number one. Step number two, after you done it already, what will be done? Uh, you need to be what you be doing. Okay, so you need to do go and do recruit and you need to grow the customer okay i think the strategies i just now already share it out already how to do it about it how you recruit okay how you want to recruit the clients and this is a strategy just now i share already and also you beat the recurring income uh recurring income just now i also share and also just now i uh miss out one thing about the recurring income one of the membership income recurring uh, especially you see member fee uh, so one of big thing of the way another income is the member fees. Okay. Also, there will be another income for your sources. Okay. For your business operations. And also, we're talking about the effective engagement. You see that a lot of the opportunity, opportunities, right? That you can be done in the system. Rather than you still need to using the human people, one, one man show. Okay. For your business operations. Okay. And the third one, after you've done it, all the membership, all the online ready. And then number three, we're talking about the expanding sales channel and online and offline sales synchronization. You see a lot of the things, right, that you sh you're handling online and offline. You see that a lot of the thing like stock, like the pricing, like the stock allocations, right? You still need to have a manpower. Imagine that if you open up 10 outlets, you've got 10 stores online, how you want to manage? I think you're very tedious. I think at the end, you just rest it aside and condemn. I can tell you, uh, your brain is empty. Okay, you're very tired. Okay, if you're using without the system, uh, uh, means a proper system. Uh, okay. So this is the one I want to share with you about the action plan. Okay. And also I can tell you, as I just now I shared to you, I go through with my clients for 11 years and implementations, right? So this is the, uh, from my experience, okay, and my expertise, I want to share to you about the, this, uh, all the, my hardware clients and uh, on your business operations, okay? And this is the proof that just now I shared to you, okay? SK Highway is one of it, our clients, okay? It's very, uh, very big in the one home mall, but in Kuching, okay? Imagine that you open up, the hardware shop like SK Hardware, how you want to manage about your stocks, about your stuff, about your inventory, about your account, about your online, about your membership, is it can be done, okay? So they are using our business, uh, they're using our solutions, okay? For SK Hardware, I can tell you. You see, you no matter you're doing in the web store, you're doing in the Shopee, you're doing in the loyalty, Okay, in the physical physical store, or you can grab all opportunities to your clients. Okay, at least you can know from your time to time your business will be grow and grow. Okay, so just now the strategy I think is a helping. Hope that can helping on your uh, business operations. 
Okay. And the second one I want to share is a uh, Hang Seng Hardware. Okay. So Hang Seng Hardware is a uh, one of the, um, our clients. Okay. Okay. They are. Uh, I just recently received their call. They are going move to another outlet. Okay. Okay. They are going to expanding. Okay. From their business operations. You see that what's the opportunity that can moving that so on. Uh, what does uh, our smart system provide to them the solution? Uh, we can using giving that the loyalty, the O2O concept and their physical store. At least we have a tools for them to let them to moving on to the next step. Okay, this is I want to share to you that uh, the subject story is sharing. And we got a lot, a lot of the customer profile like PC trackers as uh, care hardware. Okay, so we not only provide the solutions, we also giving them the stable system to handle their business operation and very comprehensive to hands on, okay, the system uh, in their business operation. So let them to moving forward to the next step and gain a lot, a lot of the business, all right? So this is the one uh, I want to uh, share to the, this one, the success case sharing. Let's summarize today, today's topic sharing, okay? We cover up today's the challenges, okay? About the competitions, about your operations and customer uh, expectation and also security, okay? I think security just now I didn't mention out, okay? You can control in the cyber uh, side trick. Uh, what I can say that you very control in a security way, uh, especially the access right. You don't allow your staff to see the costing, whatever, and all will be in the automated, okay? There's no manually, okay? All in automated, functionally very well. So you control in one hand, okay? So this is the challenge that just now uh, I want to share. After that, we're talking about the strategy, battle operation and the stock management, okay? And sales maximization and also the member management. This is the strategy just now I share. And the last one just now mentioned, also the smart O2O ecosystem solution with complete system management. So this is the one today I want to share with you the summarize of the hardware shops today, the topic sharing. So thank you everyone. So you got any questions, you can uh, type in uh, in the chat box, you can ask me. Okay, I try my best to answer on your questions. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Pastor Thanks, Ming Yang, for Welcome. sharing. Actually, there is more features and more functions. La. We just highlighted few out. There's more, more in the system that you can do, right? Uh, I'm quite interested in one of that. Maybe Ming Yang can share with us about the, the price book features. Oh, okay. Okay, actually, the some price book features, right, uh, in our system that uh, can be catered, if uh, just not mentioned, right, so like uh, Eunice, you walk in, Mengya, I walk in, right? You can have a different pricing, okay? So in our system, right, it can, what can be done is when you, no matter you're doing in the terms con, uh, customer or non-term customer, right? As long they are your members, okay? They are your members, okay? Or your clients, right? If they walk in, they can pick up whatever the pricing uh, means the special price, okay? They just mentioned about the Eunice. Eunice face coming in really is the Eunice price ready. So Mingyang walk in is Mingyang price ready. So this is the one that in our system with so-called stock price book, okay, can be controlled uh, in uh, on your clients. So you no need to remember, this is why uh, why the stock price book coming out is because a lot of the clients, right, they still remember for the traditional, uh, they still remember that in their mind, uh, like just now mentioned, unit face, Mingyang face walk in, they will be quite different pricing. So they remember in their mind. So this is the one we from actually we are from people human thinking ah uh, put it into the system. So this is the one that everybody can know uh, not only on that person brain uh, remember their price. So whatever he uh, means the staff right easier to remember what's the pricing what they provide. So this is the purpose of the stock book price right uh, can be provide solutions to their uh the hardware business. So it means that uh, usually what we doing before that is uh, one item, they can only have maximum five different pricing, right? 
I think so it's more than it's more than that. That, that is before lah. So after that, we have this price book come out. Yes. Is it is it means that, uh, can get the is there a limit for the price book, like how many record? Uh, actually, the... there's no limit. Uh, for the records, it means the per customer or per per customer. Per customer. Actually, there's no limitation about the customers. Okay, as only the I mean, uh, just now I mean, I share already. It's uh, totally they quite uh they giving a very special price. So there's no control about the customers uh, setting lah. I mean, the customer. Uh, they don't control about the customers uh the pricing. It's only the determines of the pricing that clients walk in already. At least the person the cashier ah, uh, if the boss not around that time. Strictly, the staff can immediately giving to the boss pricing ready. Okay, so so it's, this price book is follow the person how 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 to like how to search is by the registration is by phone number or by whatever. It depending on the this one when they do the doing the registrations, so we can have a uh, this. Uh, they depending on the when they create the customer the database that time and the earlier. So, uh, you need to create. Then you can set it the those book price and the what's the stock item that determine what pricing. So this is the one that you need to setting in earlier in the system. At least when the customer walk in that time, so they can uh, immediately to get the that price. You need to in the earlier need to need to do the some setting first. Uh. Only, but you only doing one time only. Not subsequent. Ah, uh, not every time you need to do do about it. Only one time, so that your clients you go to everywhere or which which outlet right. So at least the, uh, if I mean young, I walk into the KL or any branches right. So, as as long as the mean young walk into the, to that branch ready right. Oh, we know already what the price I need to provide to them. So this is how the stock book price that can be helping on the business operations. As I as I can share with you, if if uh, for the traditional way, they still need to call to the boss. Okay, boss, Mingyang coming in already. So is it I need to give him how much like that? Still, you see call to the boss and see the boss face. Ah, uh, like that lah. Ah, uh, give the eye eye signal like that. Ah, uh, like that. Usually, what I see is like this. If you got the stock book price, no need to eye signal. Ah, uh, your eye will be blinking blinking like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So this is what uh, about the stock book price purpose using it in the hardware shop. All right. Uh, so thank you, Simon. Thank you, Nis. Thanks, everyone. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you again next month.